we are in Calistoga. This is a beautiful little town and they're famous for their wine. They also have a lot of beautiful natural scenery here, including a geyser. Geyser, they have mountains to hike. They have so much history, lots of deep culture, delicious food. Let's Come go check us. it out. Woo! Yeah. Pajamas, a wine purse, and wine boxers. Guys, we are in Calistoga and we just picked up our passport at the visitor center. It's 60 bucks and it comes with passes to all the wine tasting. And we're going to check out this one right here. Chateau. Monte Elena. Look at how beautiful this is stated. This is famous for their Chardonnay that won in the 1976 Paris tasting, blind tasting, and it put California wines on the map. Looks like a castle. We are at Chateau Monte Elena. Look how beautiful. It's a very popular spot. We got put on the wait list, so we're waiting about 30 minutes and they're gonna text us when it's ready. I'm not sure what these are, but they're falling from these trees. If anybody knows what they are, comment below. I spotted, this is a vulture, wild turkey. Wow, it's huge. So this right here is a panorama of Calistoga. It's surrounded by hills and vineyards. What do you think about Calistoga so Calistoga far? Calistoga is amazing. We're so happy to be here. Ooh. Calistoga. This is the place that you come to when you want peace, relaxation, and a refuge from the bustling tech hub of the Bay Area in San Francisco. It's really not that far and the road is very peaceful, kind of windy. On the property is the Jade Gardens. Look at how beautiful and peaceful this is. famous Chardonnay started it all. So the Chateau, we just finished our tasting. What was Chardonnay your favorite? Chardonnay was incredible. The Chardonnay. The Chardonnay shined. This is a very historic place opened in 1886, mm -hmm. owned by an Irish family. And it was featured in a famous movie called Bottle, Bottle Rock. Shock. Bottle Shock. Look at this old train depot from 1868. So here's one of the mud bath hotels called the Wilkinson. At the castle and this is very unique a must see i've been wanting to go to this winery forever this is castillo de amorosa and it's a castle built in 1993 modeled after beautiful european castles in the middle of this beautiful peaceful surrounding Are going back in time. Hi 
Hi guys, we're in Calistoga and we're inside a winery called Castello de Amorosa and we are inside the chapel. Look how beautiful this is. There's murals here. It looks medieval. Look at this beautiful gift shop. Wine toppers, they look like knights. Knights at the round table. Hey guys, I got a new travel partner today. Check it out. Hey, you excited to go wine tasting? This has got to be the coolest tasting room ever. I feel like I'm in the medieval time. seen anything like this before this is a medieval Tuscan castle and it's an architectural masterpiece many of the tasting rooms are underground what's your favorite so far I like the Pinot Noir I'm trying the Merlot though and it's very good cheers nice look at the setting it's a castle within the Calistoga Valley surrounded by hills so this is another special winery called Sterling, and you take an aerial tram to get to the top. It has one of the best viewpoints in town, as well as some of the best wine. Look at this, Mike found animals. This is like part medieval times, part wine tasting, part petting zoo. Look at these chickens! We love the Castello di Amorosa. The wines were great. I especially like the Pinot Noir, the Cabernet Sauvignon, and the Gewurztraminer. Delicious wines, very special place. Awesome, recommend it. Yeah, it was medieval with the castle and the farm animals, but it was enhanced by the great wines. We really enjoyed ourselves today. Stoga Wines Passport. It's only $60 for this and it gets you into all the tastings and this is Clos Pagas. So guys, if you're looking for a quiet time to come here to Napa Valley region, come in January or December. There's not a lot going on during this time of the year. It slows down for the wineries. The really busy times and the harvest season occurs during August, September, October. So that's when you can see the wine being made. It's a little more exciting, but it's also more crowded. So, so this is Clo Paga. This is another really stunning property. Every single one of these properties in Napa is just really stunning. A lot of them have restaurants attached to them. That's the new model now. And the tastings are quite expensive if you buy them each one. So I recommend getting the passport. So 
we are inside the Club Pagod tasting room. It's this really beautiful building with beautiful glass chandeliers. So right now I'm trying the Sauvignon Blanc. The grapes are grown in the southernmost part of Valley here. And uh, some of the grapes are grown on the hills here on the state. And we also have an estate olive. They also have a wine cave here, but you have to book at least three days in advance. Redwoods Reserve. So one hour from Calistoga, one hour north, is the Armstrong Redwoods State Park. Absolutely gorgeous here. As you can see, the trees are so tall. There's so many beautiful trails. Ooh, we're in Armstrong Redwoods State Park. This moss, it doesn't even look real. I didn't exactly bring the right shoes for this, but that's okay. Oh my God, redwoods. These, my friends, are redwoods. Walking straight through a redwood. This tree knows all the secrets. Moo ha 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 ha. cute village I found. It's called Rio Nido and it goes up into the hills. <sighs> you can see my breath. <laughs> 